not only to the start finish line now, but in 10 miles, it'll be interesting to see who's out in front. It's a sprint to the finish. Good start by Michael Self. Haley Deegan does a nice job. Now Drew Dollar jumps down to the inside behind Haley Deegan. It leaves Brett Holmes on the outside there. Raleigh Herbson will try to get up there and help him. Will Holmes stay up? Will that help come from Herbst, or will he take the 23 to the inside? Looks like he's got a run now back on Drew Dollar. We saw Holmes side draft on the 15 of Drew Dollar. He has a little help now with Raleigh Herbst. A lot of experience with that 18 car, Raleigh Herbst. But here comes Drew Dollar back on the inside. Sean Core in the eighth, Thad Moffitt, Richard Petty's grandson of the 46. He started 33rd. He's a part of this race. How about Jason White there? That 12 car doing a nice job hanging in here. Jason White out of Canada was part of the Canadian ski national ski team. He's been 124 mile an hour on skis. <laughs> Weighs 180 miles an hour right now on four tires. Three laps to go. Self continues to control behind him. Pure pandemonium. What will, who will, and when will they do it? I think you're going to have to shove Michael Self off that double yellow line. There's no reason for him to leave that double yellow line here. Haley Duke can do it a great job lined up as these three cars try to pull away. As far as female finishes in the Arkham Menard series, a best second. It's been done four times. Haley Deegan tried to make history in her first trip ever to DIS. Shauna Robinson did it right here at Daytona, driving for James Finch. Two laps to go at Daytona. Five miles for Michael Self to win a second time. Could be a four-car breakaway. You see these cars running side by side. Now they're trying to get lined up. You see Brett Holmes, that white and blue car, hung on the outside. Inside the car of each one of the top five, six, seven, eight. A driver that desperately wants to make history. Well, Daytona, you got to respect this place. That second pack really caught up quickly. Jason White, when he gets to the back of Thad Moffitt, might have a little bit of momentum here. Brian Deegan hoping for the best as they make their way off turn four into the tri-oval. The white flag is in hand. And it is an all-out dash to the finish line. Next flag that comes out will determine the winner of the Lucas Oil 200 driven by General Tire. Haley needs a little bit of help from Drew Dollar, that 15 car, maybe to make a move on Michael Self. Down to 3,600 foot backstretch. Cars remaining nose to tail. A breakaway pack of six, the final two corners. I'm not sure Drew's close enough to Haley to really give her much help to try to do something with Michael Self. Here comes Michael Self. Will anybody compete with him? No. Michael Self wins for the eighth time. He has captured his second Daytona 200. A repeat performance of Kevin Reed and this man from 2018. That Venturini Motorsports team really flexing their muscles once again. Their fourth win as a team, third straight. They've won seven of the last 